uh, telling the world of the crimes that Bill and Hillary Clinton are responsible for in Haiti. And we are telling the American people that the 32,000, over 32,000 emails that Hillary Clinton said she deleted have evidence of the crimes they've committed. The Clintons have a long history with the Black Republic of Haiti. In January of 2010, after 220,000 Haitians were decimated in an earthquake, the world responded by pouring in $13 billion in donations. And a year after the quake, Red Cross CEO Gail McGovern announced plans to create, quote, brand new communities. The Haitian people has not seen not even 2% of that money. 2%? Nothing was done in Haiti. After the Clintons descended on Haiti like vultures and the Laura Silsby abduction of 33 Haitian children unfolded. We already know that some of these children still have parents because an elder girl might be eight or nine years old told us crying, I'm not an orphan, I, have, I do have my parents. You can't just pick up a child and walk out of the country with a child, clearly, no matter what your best intentions are. Of course, Haiti is currently run by a Freemason cannibal dubbed Barbecue because of his penchant for torching his enemies. Jimmy Chirizia is a former policeman. He's under sanctions from the UK for his actions here. But he does remain one of the most powerful people in Haiti today, and he doesn't like being interrupted. This is the Guatemalan and Salvadoran consulates being ransacked. Hospitals have been too. In most of the capital, it's not the police in control, but Haiti's ultra-violent gangs. This is the Haiti we have all come to know and love. While we were in Haiti, we offered Haitians their own version of Make America Great Again hats. It's a hat that says Haiti is great already. We offered it to them and they were quite happy to have it. Who's heard of Donald Trump? Can you translate? Donald Trump was on television. Donald Trump was on television. And then a bunch of grown-ups got drunk. And they made him president. After the Clintons had their way with Haiti, manipulating its economy in the 1990s and then plundering the millions in aid money the world gave the survivors of the 2010 earthquake, it has been a slippery slope. So where did the money go? Well, the Clinton's first act was to provide what they claimed were hurricane-proof emergency trailers, which they say could also have been used to school the island's children. Didn't turn out too well. Two more bodies, a man and a woman shot as they rode a motorcycle. Nobody knows why any of these murders are happening. We see the dead every day. Under the umbrella of the Biden administration, total chaos has been unleashed. Even as the international community gets behind a new Haiti-led transition plan to end the gang uprising. President Biden's reaction? Send the survivors that make it out to Guantanamo Bay and then flood Florida with them. What are we doing to prepare for that wave and to ensure that these people are not paroled into the United States as the administration has done with people on the southern border. But these aren't your average refugees. These refugees bring the Democrats' normalization of cannibalism to our shores as well. Because the most ingenious way to reduce the population is to have that population eat itself. So they're saying that they can take tissue and muscle from celebrities and mix it with animal meat and some other things and grow actual meats out of it in a lab. If the person okayed it, I would eat a human. If you were at a very yeah. fancy restaurant and they were like a tiny piece of human meat. No, no, no. I think the only way you I wouldn't would... try a tiny bite? No. Really? Absolutely not. A man is in custody after a witness said he was eating a detached leg. You heard that right. Kern County Sheriff's Office tells us that that detached leg came from a person hit by a train in this area this morning. For a boy in states, we did chop human being meat. And Biden adds, furthermore, have them bankrupt the blue cities and then have them all shipped to red states. Last fall, DHS sent this official notice saying nearly 600, quote, non-citizens we're looking to travel to these areas highlighted on your screen. There may still be some use for the Haitians when it comes to the criminal aims of the Democratic Party. John Bound reporting for InfoWars. You seen that, you heard that. Welcome to Wake Up America with Johnny Branham. Um, disturbing news, but not all that shocking. Um, it's one of the stories that I 
remember hearing and seeing about when Haiti had that destructive earthquake and how billions of dollars were raised by the Clinton Foundation and somehow years later Haiti still remains in poverty it remains with shanty towns and and people living in uh, uh complete just filth and so it, it it goes beyond saying that the democrats yet again bill hillary clinton and others are crooks and here we are facing another crisis here in the united states led by none other than joe biden uh, Obama, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure, is directly behind it. Uh, Kamala Harris and others who are flooding our United States with these illegal immigrants. And, and, and of, you know, of course, we've heard the news about what happened in Springfield, uh, Ohio, but in other places where they tried to downplay when President Trump said in a debate that they were eating the pets uh, in the areas. Well, this is their culture. Voodoo is something that is prevalent and quite normal in Haiti. They bring that over here with them. I'm not saying that all Haitians are, are this way because there are some Haitians that are Christian, but there are some that have come over here uh, illegally. Uh, anybody that's come over here illegally, Christian or non, is still you're here, you're here illegally and you need to come in the right way. And I'm, I'm fully behind what President Trump desires to do in 2025 and beyond. And that's the de, de, uh, that's to uh, deport uh and so but you see they bring over here capital cannibalism it's it's normal and you saw uh J john legend's wife uh, uh who basically was saying she would eat somebody you know if they were in a fancy restaurant and I, i'm pretty sure that these people in hollywood and other places and in the 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 occult if you will, uh, the elites are already doing ceremonies and sacrifices like this with babies and other things of that nature. They do some weird demonic stuff. The enemy has definitely uh, got his foothold in a lot of these uh, elite societies. And so to see this on the news, though, and to see someone reporting on the fact that this is what has happened in years past and this is what has happened today is kind of eye opening. We definitely have to pray. We definitely have to be on our P's and Q's uh, and, and really realize the evil that uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and others in the Democratic Party and those who are globalists, because you got some rhinos, have allowed to just walk across the borders of our United States. These are some dangerous, sick people, and they're wanting it to be even worse. This is just the beginning. They don't, they don't want to stop with that. They, didn't, they, they actually want it to be much, much worse. As I covered in a prior video, how Kamala Harris just wants to defund ICE, the immigration police, and how she just wants to defund uh, the shelters and the detention centers and just allow people to just basically walk right over without any opposition whatsoever. It's crazy. And yet sometimes people, I don't understand. I, I believe that education, I've, I've taken a different stance on education. I believe that I don't care. There are people with doctorate degrees, master degrees. There's people who are all different types of titles and all different types of positions who are actually in support of Kamala Harris, actually still in support of the Democratic Party. It baffles me. It, 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 it. It, I don't know. There's some type of cognitive dissonance. There's a disconnect there. But I don't see how you can have common sense and look at what's going on now and then trace it back to 2018, 2019, 2020 and say, now this is better than that. I don't, I don't see how you can say that with a straight face. I don't care what the, I don't care what the, the, the pop, the personality is popularity. I don't care anything about it. I care about the policies. And so I, I do know and understand that education does not equal revelation. That means that a person cannot really truly understand. They can have, they can be highly educated, but educated in the wrong way. These are indoctrination camps, by the way, the Harvards, the Princetons, the Columbias. If we've seen anything over the past couple of years with some of these idiots out here actually championing and, and, and marching for the destruction of the very country that they live in, pro-Palestine uh, uh, protest, I, I, I don't get it. I do get it, though. It's indoctrination. And the educational system needs to be made great again. Educational system needs to be, be, be made great again. We need God at the focal point. Kudos. Praise God for states like Oklahoma, 
that are going to be implementing the Bible into their educational system and teachers will be teaching from the Bible. They're going to be learning the Constitution. These things are so those these things are so important. And in some in some ways, I think sometimes we we forget that we've taken some things for granted. I knew I grew up in the 80s, so I, I took a lot of things for granted. I thought that these things would always be. Uh, but, never, you know, the Bible says that while the, the believers slept, I'm paraphrasing, that the enemy came in and sowed tares. That, that, what, that while the, the people slept, the enemy came in and sowed tares. And that's exactly what's happened in our nation. He sowed tares. But I, but I thank God for God raising up uh, individuals, particularly Donald Trump, who God prophesied that he would be a trumpet to keep blasting the trumpet and keep calling out fake news and keep calling out rhinos and all of these different things that were hidden right in front of our faces that none of us really, really truly thought about. Some of us may, be, may have been on a conspiracy theories side, but we didn't think it was this deep. We didn't really think it was this deeply rooted and entrenched. We thought that there were maybe some crooked people up in Washington. Maybe there were some crooked people here or there. But we didn't know that, you know, there's federal judges all across the United States that are willing to just literally go full partisan and break the law and charge people based upon their political ideologies and views and, and, and persecute people for their beliefs. Like the young lady I did a, a video on, a podcast on, uh, Bevelyn Williams, who was actually charged and going to spend three and a half years unless the Lord intervened for doing a Jesus Matter March. Jesus Matters March. She did a Jesus Matters March and they claimed that she impeded someone's uh, or she she did hurt somebody that was trying to go get an abortion. That's how they do the setup plan. And so this is the, this is the state of our nation right now, where we have to stand up, we have to be the voices, we have to be the ones. That's why the title of this show is "Wake Up America" with Johnny Brandon, because I am truly a voice that God has raised up to wake America to be a part of helping to wake America up. So you be a part of that and like, subscribe share, comment on this video, Wake Up America with Johnny Brown, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.